content. Then by leaving it open, then by leaving open a seven day widow, he will gain himself by finding the content. Else Mr. Masingeli was required, would have been required to submit himself starting tomorrow to the Commissioner General of Prisons to start serving a six month sentence. Before embarking on uh, the determination of whether or not Mr. Masengeni has satisfactorily found the content or not, it is necessary to have a clear understanding of what finding the content process entails. Sorry, please. Sorry, finding process of the content entails. This procedure is not prevented for in law, but it has been developed through distance. In the Black Law Dictionary, the word punch is defined as to exonerate oneself or another of gate. The dictionary illustrates that by saying the judge punched the defendant's content. The Supreme Court of India, in Praveen C. Shah versus K. K. Mohan and another, civil case appeal number 35 of 2000, extensively discussed what what, what the punch process contains, making reference to its origins, the cost stated as follows. Punching is a process by which an undesirable element is expelled either from oneself or from the society. It is a cleansing process. Punch is a want which acquires implications first in theological connotations. In the case of, in the case of sins, punching of such sin is meant through the expression of sincere remorse coupled with doing the penance required. In the case of guilt, punching means to get himself cleared of guilt. The concept of purgatory was evolved from the word punch, which is a state of suffering after which, after this life, in which those souls who depart this life with their deadly sins are purified and rather fit where nothing defiled enters. And of course, the court even went further to observe that merely serving a sentence for content of court may not be enough to vindicate the authority of the courts, and that the best result would be what the condemner demonstrates it would be when the condemner demonstrates genuine remorse and seeks the court's pardon. That was a major consideration that this court took into account when it opted for a coercive order as opposed to a punitive order as the intention of the court was not to punish Mr. Masangeri for the sake of it, but to ensure that the sentence but to ensure that the, the, the sentence restores the dignity and the authority of this court. Had the court intended to, ma to punish Mr. Masangeri right away, it would have not included the punch order as part of the sentence. The Indian Supreme Court emphasizing on the need to have a sentence that meets the object or the aim of the court held as follows. Punching process will not be treated as completed merely by contemnar and doing a pen, uh, and undergoing a penalty imposed on him unless he has obeyed the order of the court or he has undone the wrong. Next step is to seek pardon from the court concerned on the ground that he really had genuinely repented and that he has resolved not to commit any such act in the future. The apology tendered should impress the court to be genuine and sincere. If the court is being impressed in its genuineness, accepts the apology, then it could be said that the condemner has purged himself of guilt. The question thus becomes, having listened to Mr. Masengeri, is the court satisfied that he has sincerely and genuinely is sincerely and genuinely apologetic about the circumstances that led to his conviction and sentence for contempt of court? In ex explanation, to exonerate himself, Mr. Masangeli stated on oath, giving an account in which he explained why he could not personally attend court on the 26th of August 2024, 29th of August 2024, the end of September 2024, 5th of September 2024, and 9th September 2024, including the date of the sentence on the 13th of September 2024. He gave reasons that 
he was torn between national security duties and his obligation to attend court. He did not, however, explain why he could not commit to attend court on the day he had actually indicated he would attend. That is on 9th of, 9th of September 2024. He was cross-examined by advocates for the petitioners, and my observation is that his answers appeared genuine. He was calm and polite. To crown it all, he pleaded with the court, stating that if he had been wrong or made an error of judgment in prioritizing other exigencies of duty over the court summons, he sought forgiveness and mercy from the court. He stated as follows, that I quote, I want to apologize to this court and the judiciary for the events that transpired leading to orders of contempt of court. I respect you and the good work you do to uphold the law. As a police officer, it is my duty to enforce court orders and ensure court orders are obeyed. I pray the court accepts my apology, but case the conviction and sentence. I so pray. End of quote. <coughs> this court is convinced that Mr. Masengeri regrets and, genuinely, and, and is genuinely remorseful for the situation he finds himself in. It is not the intention of this court to punish a genuinely repentant man who has acknowledged his mistakes and offered an apology. His conduct today has restored the dignity of the court and the due administration of justice by attending court and explaining the certificates that caused him not to comply and offering an apology for any of errors of judgment he might have made. His undertaking to always obey and enforce the orders of the court came out strongly. The court is fully satisfied that the purging process has been as infused has been infused as infused in his mind or in the mind of the contemner, Mr. Masengeli, the obligation to respect and uphold the rule of law and the due administration of justice. The supremacy of the law has equally been vindicated. To this end, I must arrive to the determination that Mr. Masengeli, through this purging process, has punched his guilt for the contempt of court and thus both and thus the court sorry and thus both the conviction and sentence passed are set aside. I must however not end this deliberation without speaking on the need for all to respect and uphold the independence of the judiciary. It is a, it is a judiciary that guarantees adherence to the rule of law. Every Kenyan who means well for this country must fight for the independence of the judiciary so that judges can be allowed to make decisions based purely on law and the facts without the fear of reprisals, interference, pressure of threats, whether direct or indirect. That is a cornerstone of democracy. It should be known to all that the independence of the judiciary is not for the judges per se, but for the benefit of the public at large. It leaves judges with the discretion to make fair and even harder decisions meant to uphold the rule of law. Judges must never and will never hold. Ma, sorry, judges must will must. Sorry, judges will always hold government organs to account for adherence to the constitution and the law, and it is the primary duty of the state to ensure judicial independence is protected. I am happy to note from the LSK that the three Kenyans. The subject of this petition have been found. Having said so, and considering everything else, I am I am making my decision to recuse myself from this from the further proceedings of this case for personal reasons. I will thus be directing that this file be placed before the presiding judge for allocation to another judge. That's all. that we're very grateful for your patience and uh, for having uh, given us the opportunity to uh, bring the quantum law to this court. So we're grateful to note that um, the conviction and the sentence have been set aside. And uh, on behalf of Mr. Masengeli, we wish to thank this court. Thank you. Thank you. My Lord, uh, on behalf of the Honorable General, uh, 
we want to most sincerely uh, appreciate that. Thank you for the magnanimous uh, sympathies you have uh, expressed. You have actually appealed to uh, the contemner. More so, my Lord, setting aside the conviction and the sentence, and therefore allowing Mr. Masengeri, who has served in this country with the distinction in his career as a police officer, who has risen through the ranks to the level where he's now in charge as a DIG in charge of a police administration, and who I am sure from the masses that we have extended will be able to continue serving this country, will be able to ensure that the borders of this country are secure, and that the rest of us who are also, who are also been given this responsibility to serve in our various capacities would serve without any fear that we are under any threat. Suffice it to say, my Lord, that the aspects of our insecurity in terms of their Shabbat and the rest are kept at pay by very committed officers led by uh, on the road by the DIG Masengeri, DIG Regard, and now the Inspector General, uh, Mr. Kanji. We therefore, in a very special way, want to thank you, my Lord, and we would continue to uphold the rule of law. We would forever continue to ensure that code orders are not met in faith, code orders are complied with, and indeed, that would enhance the, the independence of uh, all the independent <coughs> institutions. We thank you and we thank all of all of the, the audience, my lord. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> thank you, my lord. <coughs> Mr. Manoa. My, my lord, we appreciate the decision of this court. We have also taken note of your closing remarks that you in, you have recused yourself from the petition hearing. My Lord, we had uh, done an application for empanelment of a three judge bench. The same is dated uh, the 17th of September 2024. My Lord, uh, so that we, have we avoid a back and forth appearing before the PJ, we are seeking that if you can indulge us by allowing the application, it's an opposed. My, our colleagues from the state have not opposed the empanelment of a three judge bench, considering the weight of the matter. We pray that you send it to the CJ for purpose of empanelment, my lord, of a three or five judges. Otherwise, we appreciate the court immensely. It has been a long period uh, of <coughs> back and forth before this court. My Lord, we are hoping that uh, the rule of law will take its course, and perhaps co going forward, our security officers will respect court orders. There is no bodus above the law. Thank you, my Lord. My Lord, if I could make final submissions in this. We are extremely grateful for the court's time and resources in effectively working within a constrained time frame today today my lord we, we have witnessed the efficacy and the supremacy of the Constitution, the administration of justice, and even though, my Lord, the court has bowed 
either to the pressures or to the realities. To recuse itself, my colleague has directed on our application, which is unopposed. Additionally, my lord, you could give us directions on the main petition. We are very alive to the generosity of the court in accommodating the now purged DIG. We hope that this will serve as a lesson. On state officers and public officers, without the law then we are all equal to wild animals in the jungle it would be remiss of me my lord not to mention that were it not for the law society then we will be pleading for costs <laughs> The, the full battalion of the Attorney General, my lord, is here today and the Government Proceedings Act still operates within a framework that we can realize our day as, as advocates in court. But we are sincerely grateful, my lord, on the pressure that was present in this matter The second petitioner, the third petitioner, and the fourth petitioner <coughs> as confirmed by the President Emeritus Nelson Harvey were found today. And it will be important, my lord, to try and get to the bottom of this so that they can personally attend court and explain to the court what actually transpired and whom and who had them in their custody. From the Law Society, we are extremely grateful also to the participation of counsel We witnessed a, a very spectacular moment where the DPP was supporting a contemnor. <laughs> <laughs> but we live and learn, my lord. From the Law Society, we are extremely grateful, my lord, and we appreciate you. As you retire, do have a lovely weekend. And we could take directions on the petition. Thank you. Okay, sir, so now, now uh, from the very front side, do you have any objection to this matter being referred to the Chief Justice? No objection. No objection. Now, considering my way to the Chief Justice, I will be referring the matter to the Chief Justice from the final convention in the exclusion of the Justice Lord Sudan. Understand. Thank you. My Lord, we will, we will keep on reporting from time to time as to our safety. <laughs> we, can, we can be sure that we will be attending court as officers of the court. I know uh, this is something that is reoccurring, but I have an obligation to my members so that if we leave here today, we, we hope that we'll be back on Monday. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, the president, I think, is... Uh, uh, but I just, uh, my lord, want to also appreciate and uh, say 
we confirm that we have not come here pretentious. We have come here as law-abiding Kenyans. The IG, the, the PIG, both two of PIGs who are here, want to confirm that there is no threat to the lives of my colleagues, my vice president of the Law Society of Kenya. My Lord, we also want to assure the court. Yes. We want to assure the court, my Lord, that uh, your security is a, is a prime responsibility of the two DIGs who are in court. I don't want to array and fear to any Kenyan that indeed security is the primary responsibility of the state. And uh, by coming before this court, and I, my Lord, I'm grateful and gratified that you observed the demeanor of one Gilbert Massinger. I was, I was personally tired. And therefore, that assurance, the Vice President and my colleagues, Senator, you go, rest assured that your security is assured. Thank you, my Lord. And we want to thank you for all that you have done for us. I'm sure today everybody will go to the weekend relaxed. And that is the, the fourth estate could also spare Mr. Sengeria. <laughs> thank you so much. So this will be funded to the two cases for the year. The application for environment for lunch by the first day is not opposed. This allowed. This, this is a matter that, that this is a matter of uh, immense public interest. This is substantial issues. The file is thus to find the chief justice for employment of a bench to the exclusion of Justice Lawrence Mutan. We are most obliged.